Some years, it's been a few cast items. Other years, we've gotten some big updates for the base game. So what can we expect for Sims 4 in 2022 as we head towards the holidays and round out this year? Well, before we discuss predictions and take a trip down memory lane, I'm Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims and Pair Lives news, updates, guides, and reviews. And my question for you today is, what would you like for a holiday update in Sims 4? And do you expect anything different now that we've gone through Sims 4's history? So we can already expect an update to fix the mean interactions bug in early December, fingers crossed. But what other content? Well, already the team, of course, has rolled out their annual sale, and there are sales for both Sims 4 and the third Sims game. So for Sims 4, most expansions are 50% off, aside from high school years, of course, and game packs are 20 to 30% off. Let's be honest, My Wedding Stories deserves a much deeper discount and probably a disclaimer. Stuff packs are 30% off, and Sims 3 has world stuff packs, bundles, and expansion packs for 50% off. Highly recommend. You can buy the entire Sims 3 collection, as English Summer points it out on Steam for an even deeper discount. So links to sales for the Sims packs will be pinned. But of course sales are always usual. The problem with predicting the actual updates we might get for free for the base game is that every year has been fairly different. So we're going to take a trip down the updates for the past Sims 4 years from late November to late December because I think this could give us some clues for what to expect for Sims 4 in 2022. So 2021 was a bigger update, one of the biggest ones, because it's now been a full year since we've gotten the neighborhood stories, Sims 4's alternative, so to speak, to story progression. The first update introduced neighbors asking for your permission to have babies, change careers, and pursue relationships. It's since been updated, of course, albeit I would say this is something they really probably should revisit some more. The major update followed a 411 live stream, which also discussed their work on the upcoming pronouns update and the NPC overhauls, giving us some sneak peeks on what to expect for the year to come. Funnily enough, so all these things are 2021 updates that were announced or given to us. I really think they need to be followed up on, so I'd be very happy if in 2022, at the end of the year, we got some more updates on the NPC overhaul or the story progression, etc. Because like I said, I've talked about this in a previous video, but there are a lot of things that I think the Sims team really needs to revisit. They also had an XDX drop for a beast game here, added in the controversial window from the loft kit promotions, and they added some likes and dislikes in the form of cottage core style and cross stitching and knitting. Now 2020, what a year 2020 was. Arguably, it's when the interest in Sims 4, I feel like, felt very high because we are all in lockdown and there was an influx of new players. It was also a major update year as well, with the addition of finally a hundred new skin tones, complete with new controls and makeup. And honestly, it's really wild to think that it took until 2020 until we got those. I'm very glad we did. But like I said, it still boggles my mind that it took until 2020. They also updated some base game hairs and offered a long list of bug fixes. So I'd say overall, it was a pretty solid year. So could we see some more base game assets updated? I'd personally be all for that. I still think there's a lot of textures that need to be updated. They could still convert some more hairstyles, like I said, and also just adding in some more base game things in general. I'd love to see some more things for masculine sims and for other ages. But in 2019, we were still voting on the community stuff pack that would eventually become Nifty Knitting. So sadly, as much as I'd love to see a community voted pack or even just another stuff pack, I'm beginning to think that time unfortunately has passed. Again, never say never, but with the influx of kits and just how things have been going and how long it's been, I have some doubts that there's going to be a stuff pack, less a community stuff pack, but watch, they announce a community voted stuff pack right after this video. But that year in 2019, the holiday update was much more modest for Sims 4. It offered up some new music and conversions for base game hairs for kids. And I do recall a song prom dress being added and of course speculation about high school or generations pack. But really, there's not that much to talk about for 2019. 2018 honestly feels so long ago, and chances are you may or may not remember from here on out. But in this update, we got some updates for the holiday celebration pack, complete with garland, candles, some rustic decor, and a Yeti costume, which there was also speculation about that. This was also the year of the Baby Ariel collab, and we already, of course, have collabs, so to speak. They've continued that. They've lined up different artists for this year with the announcement of Sims Spark Something. 
Now, 2017, 2016, and 2015 really are fairly dull, with the exception of Sims 4 being introduced for console in 2017, something we know that Sims 5 is probably not going to repeat. We're probably going to have all versions at the get-go just because of their cross-platform approach. But in 2017, you could buy some Sims merch for Fredless, enjoy a few new items for the free holiday pack, and in 2016 as well. And in 2015, there was of course the introduction of the free holiday pack with some fun cast and build buy items nothing to complain about and I'm curious comment if you still use any of these items that were introduced for free and if you'd like more holiday themed items if you do want more holiday themed items tell me what kind of holiday themed items and why I'd be interested to see if you think we need another update like that in 2022 and finally, of course, in 2014, the year The Sims 4 launched fairly bare bones, I would argue, they added two business careers, two athletic careers, gnomes, holiday sweaters, and decor, and one I'm sure builders are especially pleased with, which of course is the Move Objects Cheat. That's correct, Move Objects Cheat was not there until this update. Not to mention, within the past month, they've just introduced Pools, as pools were yet another feature that weren't originally in the base game for Sims 4 for some reason. So honestly, it could be a small SDX drop for a few holiday items, build buy, and some bug fixes at very least. I wouldn't be shocked to also see the release of one or two more kits in December, I'm not really sure. Maybe we could get a roadmap, but honestly, I think that maybe that roadmap we might have to wait until early 2023, alongside of course the infant update. We also know there's two expansion packs coming around the corner, but I'm going to save my 2023 predictions for another video. So I really hope most for 2022 to round out this year. Some more bug fixes, of course. Honestly, a pack refresh would be amazing, and I think that would be a great opportunity to sell more packs in addition, but I don't really expect that at this point. We have seen more substantial updates in previous years for Sims 4, but given that infants are coming in the next year, and it seems like they're starting to delay things a little bit more, which actually I see kind of as a positive, to be frank with you, I'm not expecting more than, say, an XDX drop with a few items and some bug fixes for now, maybe some holiday promotions. But let me know what you think and what you'd like to see. I definitely think, like I said, that my predictions could be wrong. They could surprise us and come out with a major update for the base game. But like I said, for now, my expectations are just a simple XDX drop, which is fine with me. So let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Do you think Sims 4 needs major overhauls before the holiday season? What are you expecting? Would you be happy or upset that we got more kits? I just think there's a lot to unpack here. And like I said, who knows, maybe within the next week we will get some news. I do hope for news, but I like to set my expectations fairly low just because I feel like things have been moving a little bit more slowly. And like I said, that's not always a bad thing because we have seen base game updates rushed and broken. But on the note, hope you're all having a wonderful day. And as always, I will see you in the next one.